Okay, uh, so I am going to be doing an actual comparison, a full comparison of the Gear VR headset and the Oculus Go headset. And uh, if you're in a rush, I'm, I'm just going to tell you, if you're, if you're looking for Minecraft, if that's the main thing, because some people are actually looking specifically for Minecraft, right now it's not compatible with this, so... No, <laughs> but for everything else, the Oculus Go wins. 100%, without a shadow of a doubt, the Oculus Go makes the Gear VR look like a toy. Not that they're not both basically toys already, but other than that, so now I'm going to address one thing. There's some guy apparently hates my opinion and he's mad at me and thumbing me down. So I want to acknowledge you for a second. I farted. Okay, now I'm done. So, um, so these two headsets, uh, the Oculus Go and the Gear VR. I had the Gear VR since the launch of the Galaxy S8. I got the Gear VR before I got the Galaxy S8, and I've been using it since then, and it's been a great headset. I've enjoyed it. Um, uh, the comfort is really good. Everything is great. <laughs> the lenses, better than most cardboard headsets that I've used, but compared to things like even the Daydream, the new Daydream View, or the, uh, other than the clarity, the clarity is great, but the, the field of view is not really that good compared to like the Daydream View or of course, my PC headsets or my, like my Lenovo Explorer and especially isn't going to compete with like the field of view of the Oculus Rift or the field of view of the HTC Vive or whatever. Clarity wise, yes, it's actually the clearest uh, lenses I've used, but the Oculus Go, while not being as clear as the Gear VR, the Oculus Go is fairly clear. These lenses, even though they're Fennel lenses, they are very clear. There's the, the most minimalist, just minimal fucking uh, god rays. There's just practically, you don't, you barely see them. You have to stare for them. It's not really an issue. The um, field of view from what I understand, is the same as like the Oculus Rift and the um, HTC Vive. So it is massive. It looks, it's the biggest FOV I've ever seen uh, from the headsets that I've owned. Um, it looks big. It's bigger than my Lenovo Explorer, which I believe is smaller than the Oculus Rift and HTC Vive. And it's just, everything's giant, which Basically, once you have that FOV that big, and it's the thing is with the Gear VR has a goggle effect, whereas this really doesn't have that. This almost looks like there's a, there are, you do see this, it's weird, you see the size of the screen, but you end up actually, I ended up appreciating that over the goggle effect thing because I see everything in between my nose. I don't see a black, I don't see that blacked out look between my nose. I see everything. It's just, there's just like, even though I had that, there's like, it's like a soft border around the screen, almost like a, it's almost like looking into a periscope more than looking into a pair of binoculars. Um, so it's not perfect. It's not like it's the uh, Pimax AK or something, but it's really massive. Um, whereas the Gear VR compared to it, it's really, it's, everything looks fairly small. You have that goggle effect. Um, it just really doesn't look as good. Now, of course, you also have the display on here is, I think, 72 hertz. Whereas, it, you know, you use a, a said phone, whatever Samsung phone, also means you have to have a Samsung phone. So if you really wanted the Gear VR, you'd have to actually buy a Samsung phone, even if you didn't want it. But with this, you can have say an iPhone or a, another Android phone from another manufacturer. So you don't have to make your, your phone decision based on a friggin' VR, mobile VR headset. 
um, or whatever. Unless, of course, you just want a Samsung phone, then in that case, it doesn't really matter much. But I will say, when it comes to the Gear VR, because I think just about all Gear VR compatible phones have an OLED display, the black levels are normally better on the Samsung. As far as the sharpness, I noticed it was the same, basically. Um, but everything else, like the, the display looks great. Um, with this, you don't need to grab a pair of headphones. It has these cool little speakers on the side that shoot audio down these channels into your ear uh, canals. And you could actually swivel these while you're setting it up. These, those can be swiveled so that it directs it closer to your ear canal so it sounds better. So that's what I did while setting it up. You can just swivel these back and forth and you will get better sound that way. Or, of course, there's a headphone jack on the headset Whereas with the Gear VR, you have to put the headphones into your phone and then jam it into the, uh, the holder, which uh, it, it always kind of concerned me. I was always worried because the USB, it's like it's not like a perfect thing where it just pops right in. It kind of you have to wiggle it around and, you know, it has a tendency to be a little fiddly. And then once you put the uh, headphones on, they just sometimes barely fit and they may not fit at all. So having the headphone jack on the outside is nice. I actually haven't used the headphones yet because I'm so like I, I like I just think this is such a cool idea and it's so convenient but for music you're probably gonna want some headphones um, although I did notice if you cup your hands around your ears use this as you may as, as you wish uh, but if you cup your hands around your ears you get way better sound so maybe there could be a mod with that in mind <laughs> You literally, it seems like you could probably put like a, uh, a strap over here that covers over your ears and it would actually give you better audio if it just hung over your ears. Anyways, so these basically base, you know, they run the same software for the most part. I will say that the Gear VR does have a better library with some games, but that's because of compatibility things. Like this doesn't run normal Android apps, at least as, as far as now it doesn't. <laughs> Unless some hacker, because it is running Android, it's just, you know, somebody would have to come in and come up with a way that you could sideload Android applications onto it and load them. And I think if you do load Android applications, they start up in a window, because I did actually install the Xbox application is on the, on the store here, and it loads up in a window. And it, it works like a messed up uh, Xbox application. It looks all screwy, but... You know, this is going to have more applications, so that's one important thing. You have things like um, Samsung, uh, what is that thing? The Samsung, it's a, it's a, there's a, um, an application that lets you run uh, Android applications in VR. So it lets you launch all these different Android apps and in, in a VR space. And of course, because this is not running all those VR apps and doesn't have the Google Play Store and all that, you don't have that, so that's not a thing. So there's certain little compatibility issues. There's no camera. So if you don't have a camera, there are certain apps you can't use. There's a filter app, which for some reason says it supports the Oculus Go, but it can't because it doesn't have a camera, so I don't get that. Um, what else? So, yeah, like I said, the optics on this crush it, crush the Gear VR, and basically make the experience so much better um and you know just being able to put this on your head and not have to sit there with a pair of headphones and come up with some kind of uh like ritual to put your headset on uh in order to not have to take the headset off because everything has to be done in a specific way or you have to take the headset off and redo it and it's that could be annoying this you just put right on your head you have the controller, and you can just use it. And uh, that's nice. <laughs> um, you know, with the Samsung, I had to, like, I use uh, battery-saving mode. And I had to take the phone out of battery-saving mode, or it wouldn't launch the Gear VR app. And then I would be sitting there fiddling with my phone until it was ready and could, I could play. Also, of course, it's taking up space on your phone, and it's draining the battery life of your phone. But, like I mentioned, this 
just the optics in general just make it so much better than the Gear VR. And some of the apps that I thought kind of sucked, when I played them on Gear VR, I played them on this, and I was blown away by them just because the optics actually make a huge difference with immersion. Um, I literally, I was playing VR carts on that, and I just didn't think it was that good. I was like, eh, this sucks. So I was like, and then when I played on this, I was like, holy shit, I'm looking around, and I just I felt like I was actually there. And that made a huge difference when using the, uh, the Oculus Go. Um, so, there's that. Um, so, yeah, a huge part of this is the optics and, of course, the ease of use. Um, and a lot of people have mentioned the battery life not being that good, and it isn't, but this thing has, like, literally, this has mentioning the optics so much, but it, 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 they're better than the HTC, HTC Vive Pro, which, yeah, I think is a rip-off, but still, it's a, you know, it's an $800 headset that requires a thousand-plus dollar PC and possibly even another $800 headset if, if you paid that much, and that's a lot of money, and this has better optics than that, so <laughs> this has the best optics of any headset out there right now at this moment so yeah <laughs> and that does not ha nobody will tell you that this has the best optics ever but they will probably tell you that the clarity of the lenses is really good and people will modify those lenses into other headsets so there's something to say for that <laughs> um so all in all the experience between these two headsets this was a massive upgrade to me over this. It could depend on, on what you, you know, each person and how you, um, how you, uh, what's the word? <laughs> you know, how, how you, uh, blah, 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 I, you know, how much you care about certain things, but just, yeah, like I said, the, it's really hard not to talk about the optics just constantly over and over. And it's just, it is great, and also, I didn't get much heat from this headset, so a lot of people have struggled with heat from their phone and stuff, and with the S8, I didn't really have a really big issue with heat, but it definitely got hotter than this, and this is a bit lighter. This is a weird thing. This is a bit lighter than the Gear VR, but it feels heavier when you put it on your face, and I think that may have something other than the straps it may have something to do with this obnoxious i don't really like this face padding so much it has this seam on it and let me put it here there's a seam going around here and that sticks into my face a bit and it's not the worst thing ever but it, it, you do notice it i do find that this is a little more comfortable with this padding they have here um but it's still it's it's fine it's just i think the padding could be better and hopefully they'll, you know, like, what the hell is that site? The VR, uh, VR covers or something comes up with uh, something that's better. Um, so as far as battery life goes, that's one of the things that people are, are bothered by. Because of the price and what's uh, included and how just how good quality this headset is for not... This doesn't cost that much more than this. And for what you're getting in this package, I, I just, like, I normally, if I felt like I got what I paid for, or if I felt like I got less than I paid for, um, I would be like, fuck that, I shouldn't need to, like, grab my battery bank or something, or I shouldn't have to, but because I got so much more than I thought I was going to get. I thought this was just going to be like a Gear VR all in one and that's it. But it is way better than that. And because I got such such a good experience with this and such high quality stuff for the price, I feel like it's not too much to ask to just put a battery bank by you and plug it in with a decent length cable. You don't even notice it. And it charges, it gives you more battery life. And I just feel like I got... Yeah, I got way more than I asked for. <laughs> so I don't have a problem with using a battery bank with it. 
um, and I have used it. And I think most of the times I'm probably not going to use it that long. It's just that it's a, it is a still a new toy, so you're going to play with it more. But um, for me, I have no problem just putting a battery bank next to me and just getting that extra life out of that. Um, and I'm not going to open it up and try to replace the battery or anything like that. That's, you know, I mean, if I paid more, I'd be a little more annoyed, but, or I'd be annoyed at all, <laughs> but I'm not annoyed at all. Um, so you have that. Uh, I'm try to, so they both, you know, obviously they both have volume control on the headset. They both have, um, power buttons. One thing I, I did notice that was annoying with this is some Gear VR apps that say they're compatible don't work because they require the touchpad on the Gear VR. So that sucks, but I don't know. So it's really, I mean, it's hard to compare in more depth than I already did because most of it's about how high quality the lenses are. I just burped and <laughs> how easy this thing is to use and just I love these this audio channel thing that they are going with here um there are some bugs on the oculus go I'm trying to think if there any is oh yeah I had the controller oh I thought the thing cut out anyways I had the controller disconnect uh, a couple times and other people have had this as well um I had to repair it with a stupid app. That's one thing I hate is that it requires an app on your phone. Uh, especially because if you didn't know, it requires an app on at least a Marshmallow phone. <laughs> you have to be on Android. If you're on Android, you have to be at least on Android Marshmallow. If you're not, you're SOL, and that sucks. Um, but that meant that I had to go grab my, my uh, phone and repair the controller. That happened to me twice so far. So hopefully some other people have also had this issue and hopefully they fix that with an update. And then there's the slightest amount. It's not awful. It's not like the Daydream or, or Google Car Word where it's spinning around, but I did notice a little headset drift as opposed to the Gear VR, which does not have that issue. But I noticed on the other side of things, the controller drifts and the controller on my end did not drift. So it was kind of swapped. Annoying, but it seems like it's not really a, a, a terrible issue. It's just like every now and then you'll notice the screen is a little off, so you have to recenter it. <clears throat> it's not like Google Cardboard where, you're, where the screen is freaking spinning around and you're watching it uh, drift. It's just you'll notice every now and then you're a little off access. So that's that. Um, definitely the performance on this, even though I'm using an S8 because this still has an older chipset, it's definitely better than the Gear VR. So performance-wise, I give it to the Oculus Go again. I mean, you also, like I said, you also have the higher refresh rate, so if people take advantage of that, then you get, um, you're less likely to get motion sick, and it just looks so much better with just the ho having a higher refresh rate. Everything seems more responsive. <coughs> oh, God. Sorry. Um, I guess I should get a glass of water or something before I die. Um, so other than that, um, if you're thinking about either getting one or the other or upgrading, uh, if you want a lot better optics and like something that, that you don't have to utilize your phone for, uh, this does a great job. And if you're planning on using it for like media and stuff and not so much gaming, if you don't care much about it, now you can buy it for gaming if you're just, you know, flat broke. Um, I, obviously you can't, you know, buying a PC, uh, a compatible PC and a headset is a lot more than just buying a $200 headset and you can definitely have fun playing games on it. So buying it for gaming, I'm not, I'm not going to sit here, oh, oh, you shouldn't buy it for gaming just because I've played games on a PC and they're better. You can still play games on it. There's still some fun to be had and there's some really good games that I tend to play on this. Um, there's some zombie shooters, there's stuff like that. There's other things. That are a lot of fun to play. They're not on quality with the PC, but that doesn't mean they're bad, and that doesn't mean that you can't buy it for gaming. So it's a possibility, and it's yeah, it's a media. It's mostly media focused, but I would say this is the better purchase than this, um, especially because <clears throat> they're so close in price, 
and this comes with a computer and everything and it's easier to use and doesn't you know you don't have like phone notifications blocking you from doing things when you're trying to use it a lot of things so in my eyes at least the oculus go wins this one and the gear vr is still a great headset but it's definitely it's no oculus go uh so thank you for watching and uh i guess to the guy who wants to thumb all my videos down have fun and uh again 